We told him, like, yeah, you're smoking. I was like, oh, I got a brand new turbo. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, nah, As soon as bro. he pulled in, he was like, Whoa. Good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome back to another video. As you guys saw from the opening cinematics, it's time for us to take a little trip. So thank you guys for clicking on the video. I have no idea what this video is going to entail, but I'm hoping that as soon as we land over there in Cali, we can get right to having fun. Uh, maybe some car meets or something like that. So I'm super excited and uh, can't wait. So uh, let's get this video started. Alright, so we arrived safe and sound. The flight was a little bumpy, which is kind of weird for a, for a Delta, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Um, so we are getting a rental car right now. We're in a lovely Kia Soul, but believe it or not, it was kind of weird. They just kind of just told us like, hey, you know, like once we paid for our stuff, just go out there and pick whatever car you want in a certain section. So we, we ended up picking a Kia Soul, but now they're... I guess new cars are coming in, so rather than us... We're shopping. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to sit in the AC and just wait until, I guess, a better car arrives. I'm sorry, Kia Soul. Um, and then, well, I guess we'll just take that one. Um, hopefully. But, I mean, if you see my face upset, that means we probably weren't able to to uh, follow through with our heist. But, uh, but yeah, I'm hungry. So after this, i got to catch up on some work, maybe some Zs, and then uh, we'll see where the night takes us. Okay, so our heist was successful. We... <laughs> We took a RAV4, so um, hopefully this one has CarPlay, um, but if not, either way, but um, yeah, successful heist. We're happy. We are. All right, so status update. <clears throat> we stopped by the hotel real quick, uh, got a chance to take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, my brother Mike, I think you may have seen him in one or two of the vlogs. This was years ago, um, but uh, he lives in Cali, roughly about 30, 45 minutes away from where our hotel is at so he's meeting us for dinner and he's probably gonna be spending a lot of time with us while we're out here for a few days so if I can show you guys that car right there is his 328 so we'll take a little peek at that soon or shortly but yeah so we're gonna grab something to eat and then I want to see if there's some type of like pre meat or something going on tonight maybe I can get some cinematics or you know just some cool uh, flicks or maybe I can talk to somebody and who knows, maybe I'll find some cool people with some nice rides that we can talk to, maybe interview or something like that. So uh, let's get something to eat. All right, good morning, guys. It is the next day. Um, as you can assume, the jet lag clearly got the best of the both of us. Um, so today, uh, Mike invited us to go out to the canyons to drive around a little bit and kind of see what cars we got going on out there. I didn't really find any um, like car meets or anything going on last night so it was kind of just an excuse for us to like maybe do like a little bit of shopping or whatever and then uh call it early night and then wake up early because right now it's about like eight o'clock seven thirty ish um so we're gonna head out to the canyons and then uh i think there's like a car meet going on in the morning so we're gonna go and check that out and then um also i have a, a new merch drop that is going to be coming out soon so we're gonna take some pictures of that and uh yeah let's see where the day takes us lady also has all her makeup done and everything she looks very nice so comment down below thank you <laughs> All right, so we just finished a little mountain drive. Now we are at, where are Mike? We're at Newcomb's Ranch in the Ange Angeles Crest Mountains. Is it Angels or Angels? Angeles Crest. Angeles? Angeles. I don't know. Angeles. <laughs> okay, Angeles Crest. So we just got out here. There's a whole bunch of different cars that you can see around us. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, apparently there was a restaurant over there, you guys can see, but they're no longer um, open, I guess. There was a fire or like COVID shut them down and something happened. I guess Mike can kind of explain that a little bit better, but another time. So yeah, I'm gonna walk around, uh, meet some of these people that they have out here and um, see, what, uh, see what trouble we can get into. So forgive me guys, but I'm terrible at deciphering now whether this is actual Frozen or this is the uh, Stealth PPF, but I know this is Frozen. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely nice. Um, got the Porsche. Dang, you can really tell they drive their cars out here. Look at that, man. 
It's got the bike, the Tesla. Looks like a GT3 pulling up. I love coming out to places like this because it just looks like a whole bunch of enthusiasts that just, you know, the main goal for them is just to have fun and enjoy whatever car that they do have. Nice GT4 out here. Carrera S, that's funny, <laughs> the license plate. Old Porsches, man, this is great. You know, let's get right to the cinematics. I want to get some cinematics of these guys. So the crazy looking Miata that you guys saw in the cinematics, believe it or not, belongs to this man right here. So if you can, just do me a favor and just introduce yourself if you don't mind. Good morning, my name is Frank. Uh, this is my 2017 ND Miata. So just a quick walkthrough. I see you're on Will Wood Brakes. That's cool. Um, so suspension wise, uh, what, what we got done? Fox Racing for them. Okay. It's the ones that you can get from Blind Miata. Okay, okay. Uh, I see you already got the GoPro mounted up. Yes. Uh, so control arms, are they adjustable? Control or... arms are all stock. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes with a double wishbone suspension up front. Yeah. And multi-link rear. So from the factory, they're absolutely perfect. You can adjust them as much as you need. Gotcha. Uh, you can probably dial in anywhere from two to two and a half degrees of camber. I was just going to ask you if you did anything with your alignment. that's just after you uh, install toy lovers. Because that's stock yeah. high, you don't get that. Maybe you get like one point. Correct. Okay. So I'm not really too familiar with like Miatas and like how they are built, but I do know that they handle damn near perfectly. They handle amazingly well from the factory. You get right. a lot of body roll, which everybody complains about, but it's manageable. It's, yeah. it, it lets you, it's very convenient. So you can actually feel everything that the car is doing. Yeah. But what you do, take all that out, you, you know what? Do the pullovers, do the yeah. anti-roll bars, you do all that, you eliminate the body roll, you yeah. do nothing, yeah. and it's so planted. It makes the car feel 10 times yeah, faster than it actually well, is. <laughs> that's you funny. feel like you're going about 120 miles an hour, you look at the thermometer, you're doing like 60. That's hilarious. And it, especially with the open top, it's absolutely fantastic. So that's just cool. the, the translation of speed, is, it feels like it's there, but it's just, yeah. it's when yeah. people say, it's a go-kart, you know, it really is. growing up, it, it, it really is. It really is. But it's comfortable. It's absolutely yeah. comfortable. You it looks very comfortable. The seats are good. Right. Uh, and that, that suspension, even though it's on coilovers, uh, they're, you can live with it. Yeah. I mean, the, the, what I tell people is that if my wife likes it, yeah. then that says something. That's you know, good enough. Usually women are the ones that are, oh, it's too bumpy, it's too harsh. So yeah. If she can take, I've taken her to San Diego, I've taken her to Vegas and back. In, in this oh, car, nice. And she's comfortable the entire way. She doesn't complain. It's nice. I mean, Alley Street sucks, so she doesn't like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so believe it or not, he doesn't know this, but um, there was someone in like a silver 911 that was looking for the owner of that car because they were like, yeah, um, we were driving up here and he got he caught up to us and I want to find out who's the owner of that car. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah no. That, that's another thing too is like people tend to underestimate this car. If you come yeah. from this life where you're driving Porsches or McLarens and all that stuff, don't get yeah. me wrong, they're absolutely amazing cars, but bang for the buck, yeah. you cannot beat this. Right, for 20 yeah. grand to end Not up this where you can pretty much keep up with the Cayman or 911. No, oh, yeah. Also, it depends a lot on the driver. Yeah, it Power depends a lot on the driver too because I've chase gt3s up here and yeah 
they're putting her along because they don't know their car yet or yeah, they're yeah, scared yeah. to drive it fast. This yeah. thing, dude, it it asks for everything that you got in morning. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. It's, well, well, yeah, like I said, I could talk about this car all day. <laughs> yeah, I can I, listen to you talk and, about it all day. And the reason I like to let people drive it is because that's the best way to get Yeah, and experience. understand it. Yeah, and yeah. understand it. Yeah. yeah. You know, as soon as people get out of the car and they have that smile on their face, I was like, now I know you get it. Now you get it. Yeah. Now yeah. You get it. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank appreciate you for your time. You. So I just came back from the drive. Um, I drove the first portion and I let him drive me back just so that he can kind of explain or kind of just show me like how this car is supposed to be driven. But let me tell you that it was definitely a life changing experience. I'll see if I can try and add a little bit of the footage right here. One of my favorite features of this car is its traction control. You can drive with it on, you can drive it at the track with it on and it's, right. so, it, it's so unobtrusive like it's, it lets you have fun. It lets you yeah, so if you guys were able to see that, man, it, it was definitely nice. And he said he got the car for 20K, 20K. I mean, suspension um, and then wheels and tires. And honestly, that's kind of it. So that's a really good car, in my opinion. Definitely a good car, definitely fun. Um, and for not knowing anything as to like the roads I was driving or um, even driving that car for the first time, he said that I did very, very well. So definitely a humbling experience, but yeah, it was fun. Today's uh, today's definitely gonna be a good day, like I said. Got the one M over here. Every club has to close at two. It's pretty cool. So nice. I wonder if it's manual. Is it manual? Okay. That's nice, clean, dude. Clean. Four shout here. It's a very interesting color, to be honest. Very interesting. Nice brakes, dude. Yeah, this is incredible. This is incredible. Good for you, dude. Oh. There they go. Dang, I just noticed that uh, they have the uh, Tesla set up for roads like this. It's pretty nice. This is nice, super clean, man. I love builds like these. Got the E30. I know for a fact this is gonna be at Beamer Evasion tomorrow. I wonder, um, I know that this is a kit. This is a Vorsteiner? This was the same one that was at, um, was that the same one that was at uh, our Beamer Invasion in Orlando? Oh, well, I don't remember. I only see it once in person. Yeah, this is nice though. Got the GT3 looking good. To come out here every weekend and just enjoy stuff like this. Good times with great people. So this looks like a Midnight Purple NSX. This is absolutely wild. I didn't even know that they made this color. When I had walked by, the guy was saying that they didn't make too many of them. But, oh. GT3 is about to do a flyby. Go ahead, brother. So we pulled off to the side kind of over here just so we can kind of do the photo shoot. But man, yo, these views out here are just like unparalleled, man. Are just completely unparalleled. But I think this spot right here is where we're gonna start with some of the pictures for the new drop so uh hope you guys enjoy all right so fast forward a couple hours so we went we ended up going to one of beamer invasions uh pre-meets in santa Ana. as you can see people are already pulling up so i'll probably do uh some cinematics or i'll just walk around a little bit and get some um brief clips uh, for the outro but if you guys like this video this is kind of a, a definitely a longer video that i normally would film so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, comment down below. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, enjoy the outro. Dang, we got the frozen blue M3 CS. That's pretty tough. On some big boy BBSs. Got the half cage in the back. Dang, I'm loving these wheels on this one too. This looks like Dravite. So we got an individual mint green. G80 M3, it's pretty tough. Car's already starting to kind of fill in a little bit too. 
M2. Got some JDM boys right here. R32 GTS T. Um, but there's a couple new G87 M2s up there that look really nice. But yeah, it's starting to fill in. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, so 240 just came up here. And um, I don't want to do it to him, but I have to. Everybody's walking over because as he was kind of pulling in, he tried to pull into like the main show and um, he was leaking something, but you could easily tell it's just simply, I think he just bursted a hose. But his, uh, his water temps must not be showing right because he should have known he was overheating for a while, so. Uh oh. That might be toast. I think he just bursted a hose. I don't think it's anything crazy. <laughs> Yikes, man. What, he just burst the hose? Yeah, I think uh, the cooler hose. Yeah. He should have known, though. His temps are, um, his gauges must not be working then. I told him, like, hey, you're smoking. I was like, oh, I got a brand new turbo. I was like, oh, okay. Then, yeah, not. Nah, as soon as he pulled in, it was like, Poof. Like, um, yeah, but his temps, like his gauges it, must not be working because yeah. like, you should know if your shit's leaking like that. Yeah. Sorry, brother. 